Does DNA profiling work if the suspect and victim are related? Well, the short answer is yes, but how does it work? Let's have a look at this hypothetical crime scene. At the scene, the body of a young female is found, along with stained underwear and a pair of pants. The case was described as an alleged sexual assault case. What DNA evidence can you find? So what do we know about our victim and suspect? Our victim is a female, 16 years of age. Based on the autopsy report, she had a stab wound in the neck and blood underneath her fingernails. Our suspect is a male, believed to be 46 years of age and believed to be the alleged father of the victim. Now back to our DNA evidence. From the crime scene, we managed to obtain two DNA profiles from the stain present on the underwear. From the victim, we obtained DNA profiles for the blood found underneath the fingernails, the vaginal swab and a reference blood swab. We also obtained a DNA profile using a reference buckle swab from the suspect. From the DNA profiles obtained, we found that the DNA profile obtained from the stain on the panty and the blood underneath the fingernails matched the DNA profile obtained from the reference swab from the suspect. The female portion of the vaginal swab resulted in a DNA profile matching the victim and the male portion of the vaginal swab resulted in a DNA profile matching the reference swab from the suspect. The evidence seems quite clear, right? Let's touch on some of the basics of DNA profiling. Our chromosomes are made up of sequences of DNA, and there are regions in our DNA called short tandem repeats, or STRs, and these are located throughout the chromosome, and the number of times they are repeated vary from person to person. Now an STR is made up of two repeats called alleles, and each of these alleles are contributed by each of our parents. This means that our combination of alleles will be unique to us. It is what distinguishes us from our parents, uncles, aunts, and the rest of the world. So if our alleles are inherited from our parents, this means that half of the alleles on our DNA profile will be the same as half of the alleles present on our parents' DNA profiles. This could pose a problem if the suspect and victim are related. If we only have a partial DNA profile from our crime scene sample, then it would be quite tricky to resolve whether the DNA came solely from the victim or if the father's DNA is present, as half of his alleles would be shared with hers. So yes, DNA profiling does work when the suspect and victim are related, but this is given the fact that our crime scene samples are of excellent quality and that there is enough of both the victim and suspect's DNA present in the crime scene samples.